Oh, hi everyone. I am Michael and Merry Christmas. And you know what? Today, as we think about Christmas, we're going to be hearing from the Bible. And the Bible tells us that Jesus brings Peace. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We oh. wish you a Merry Christmas. We hey, wish Scruff. you a... Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Michael. Uh, everyone, this is my friend Scruff. Oh, oh, hi, everyone. Oh, Scruff, how was the puppet Christmas party? Oh, Michael. Well, let's just say yeah. it wasn't very peaceful. Scruff, what does that mean? Oh, well, we had just finished eating dinner yeah. and we were breaking into song mm -hmm. when Percival decided to give a toast. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. 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 I would like to make a toast. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a toast? Yeah. Oh, great. I'll have baked beans on mine. Oh, yeah. Look at that jelly from me. Oh, and big juicy worms. Oh, oh. Can I have a chocolate bone, please? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 oh. not that kind of toast. Oh, what? No, no, a speech. Oh. A speech wishing you all well. You know, a toast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. okay. I propose a toast mm -hmm. yep. Yep. to Christmas this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. May the magic of Christmas bring you all peace this Christmas time. Oh, oh great. Yeah. Cheers! Well said, Percival, yeah. well said. Jolly marvellous! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed! Oh, you <laughs> oh, very nice. Um, Percival? Oh, yes, Bubbles. Well, um, what does that mean? What does what mean? Well, may the magic of Christmas bring you all peace this Christmas time? Hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Silly question, Bubbles. Good one, Bubbles. Good one. That's hilarious. What, what does it mean, Percival? What? Yeah, yeah. 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 What is the magic of Christmas? Well, mm, uh, why would it bring us peace? Because yeah. this year hasn't been very peaceful. Yeah, no, like we had those big bushfires. And wars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and people get sick. And I ran out of toilet paper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so what is this magic of Christmas? Yeah. And, and how can it bring us peace? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that's easy. Right. right. Yes, yes. Um, mm. Well, uh, at, uh, at Christmas time, mm. uh, yes. that is a time where, where friends and family get together. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and that, uh, oh boy. Oh, oh that, that is magical. Oh, right. Yes, yeah. and peaceful. Oh. Okay. And um, um, the magic of Christmas brings peace. Yes. What is it now? Sometimes my Christmases they aren't very peaceful. Oh yeah. 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 See, my marshmallows they melt. <laughs> yeah, and I never know what to buy for people. Mm -hmm. And Scruff keeps whacking me with his rubber chicken. Oh, wait, it's not oh, a rubber Scruff. chicken. It's Cedric. The rubber chicken. Christmas is a time for peace. Oh. Oh. This will show you. fighting for a while until Matt turned up and, and told us all to go home. Right. Yeah, so, as I said, it, it wasn't a very peaceful Christmas party. Well, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so what are you doing? Oh, well, I was telling the kids mm -hmm. that Christmas is a great time to remember that Jesus brings peace. <laughs> now you'll sound like Percival. <laughs> what has Christmas got to do with peace? Well, at Christmas we remember the birth of Jesus. Right. And the Bible tells us that Jesus brings peace. What are you talking about, Jesus brings peace? Well, in Luke chapter 2, mm -hmm. we're told about the first Christmas mm -hmm. when Jesus was born. Right. And in Luke chapter 2, we're told that Jesus brings Brings peace. Oh, really? really? Let's watch a clip about the very first Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christmas stories with Neeks. Today's Christmas story is from the book of Luke. So there was this girl Mary, right? She loved and worshipped God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. 
One day, Mary was just chilling doing her usual stuff when boom, an angel appeared. And Mary was like, what? And the angel was like, yo, Mary, don't be freaking out. And Mary was like, then don't go booming. And the angel said, girl, you have found favor with God. You're gonna have a child and he gonna be Jesus, the son of God. And Mary was like, what? That's like impossible. And the angel was like, not with God, it ain't. So Mary was like, sure. And the angel was like, cool, bye. And then pop, the angel left. So then we skip forward like nine months and Jesus, the son, of God was literally born. And naturally, Mary laid him on a bed of straw. Meanwhile, out in the fields, there were these shepherds hanging with their sheep. When suddenly, boom, an angel appeared. And the shepherds were like, what? And the angel was like, yo, don't be freaking out. And the shepherds were like, then don't go booming. And the angel said, I come with the sickest, most incredible news ever. And the shepherds went, what? Today, the savior of the world has like literally just been born. And the shepherds were like, whoa, man. And then boom, 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 boom. The sky was filled with angels praising God. And the shepherds were like, oh. But the angel said, peace on earth to them whom God is pleased with. And the shepherds were like, what? And the angels went, peace on earth to them whom God is pleased with. And then pop, 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 pop. The angels disappeared. Remember, peace out, pop. And the shepherds were like, wait, what? And then they were like, oi, let's go find this peace bringer. <laughs> so they found Jesus and we're like, whoa, this guy's the one. He be bringing peace on earth to those whom God is pleased with. The end. Oh man, Nixie's is so cool. <laughs> she is. <laughs> and she speaks so quickly. She does. But was that all really in the Bible? Well, Mostly, yeah. Well, uh, even even the angels part? <laughs> yeah, that was the part I was telling you about before. That was straight from the Bible in Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Right. It says, praise God in heaven, peace on earth to everyone who God is pleased with. Ah, uh, Michael, I think you'll find it was peace on earth to them whom God is pleased with. <laughs> right. Uh, so, um, that whole peace at Christmas thing, it's... Yeah. It is actually from the Bible. Yes, at Christmas time we remember the birth of Jesus yeah. and the angel said that Jesus would bring peace on the earth. Well, he failed then, didn't he? <laughs> what? Well, why would you say that? Well, why, why would I say that? Oh, I don't know. The wars, floods, sickness, a, a massive rubber chicken fight? <laughs> None of that sounds very peace on earthy to me. Well... You're right. This year certainly has not looked very peaceful. Exactly. So, Jesus brings peace. Well, that failed, didn't it? Well, actually, the Bible says that Jesus did bring peace. But you just it's said- just that the Bible says that the peace Jesus brings is even bigger than, well, all the things that you were talking about. What? what? What are you talking about? The Bible says that the peace Jesus brings is peace with God. Peace with God? Yes, the Bible says that Jesus brings peace with God. But but how is that bigger than than all those other things? Well, the Bible says that when people have peace with God, well, they can have peace in themselves and they can have peace with each other even when things seem crazy and unpeaceful. What? How does that even happen? Well, let's watch this video that'll help us understand. Oh, cool. Yeah. With God's powerful word, the universe was birthed. As in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. He made the oceans and land, the leaves and the wood. Then God made the animals and said, This is good. Then God made people. And what do you know? He promised to them his great love he would show. At first, when God made them, they had peace with each other. God, people and nature, there was simply no bother. Until one day, people turned against God and rejected their maker. And the peace that was theirs, it was now in a breaker. Now in fear and danger, trees and animals are scattered and people's relationships, many of them shatter. But the conflict that is the worst one of all is the conflict between God and people, great and small. For years the conflict continued to grow and to grow. But it all changed one day, 2,000 years ago. 
It was night time while some shepherds guarded their sheep. When some angels appeared, so out went their sleep. We've come to tell you, they said, of the birth of a baby. The Prince of Peace, they'll call him, and he was born of a lady. Well, Jesus is the one they spoke all about. And when he grew up, he showed it was true, no doubt. He healed the sick and the injured, the unwell and the weak. And his love for all people, oh boy, could we speak. But could he bring peace between God and people, you cry? He could, but that meant he had to die. To bring people back to God, it cost him his life. But fear ye not, this story doesn't end in strife. Because three days later, he rose up once again and peace was won. Oh yes, amen. Now Jesus promises never to leave or forsake anyone who trusts him. And I tell you, that's great. And there's one thing more that you all need to know. Jesus promises to return and fix the world all aglow. So even with troubles on the increase, knowing Jesus can give you an unfathomable peace. So cling to him for all that he's worth. Because Jesus brings peace. He brings peace on the earth. Hi, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was a summary of the whole message of the Bible. Oh, all of that fit into that one animation? Yeah, oh. the story of the Bible tells us that Jesus brings peace. Ooh. He brings peace between people and God. Uh, it's peace with God, not, not a peace that nothing bad will ever happen to you. Exactly. When the Bible says that Jesus brings peace, mm -hmm. it's not promising that no bad things will happen anymore. The Bible's promise is that because of what Jesus has done, people can have peace with God now and forever. Oh, peace with God. Yeah. Well, that sounds nice and all, but... But... Yeah, but, 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 but how does that help in the here and now? Like in the real world? Scruff, that is a good question. Oh, I know it is. And do you have a good answer? Well, the Bible does. Okay. The Bible helps us see that when someone has peace with God mm -hmm. because of Jesus, they can have peace in themselves and they can have peace with each other, even when things seem out of control and unpeaceful. <laughs> Well, if someone knows that they are at peace with the God who made everything, mm -hmm. well, they know that God loves them now. They know that God cares for them now. And they know that even all the bad things that keep happening... Oh, like, like, like fighting and, and sickness? Yes, like fighting and sickness. Yeah. The Bible says that all the bad things can't stop God's plan to one day bring a perfect and peaceful world with him. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> it is. So people who know that Jesus brings peace uh -huh. can have peace in themselves anytime, including at Christmas time. Oh, cool. It is cool. And they can be at peace with others because they know that God accepts them. So they don't always have to get their own way. Wow. So, so there is something to this whole Christmas peace thingy. Well, yeah. At Christmas, Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus. So Christmas is a great time to remember that Jesus brings peace. Well, I guess I could go and see if I can bring some peace to to Percival's house. <laughs> that sounds like a great mm. idea. Look, have a peaceful Christmas. Oh, no, you too, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I, actually, I, I might just bring Cedric, you know, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, kids, this year may have been a really tough year for many of us, and even Christmas may be hard for some of us as well. But Christmas is a great time to remember what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that Jesus brings peace. Jesus brings peace with God. And when someone has peace with God, they can have peace in themselves and peace with each other, even when all kinds of hard things happen around them. Now, if you want to know more about that, then why not read the story of Jesus for yourself in the Bible? And you can talk to someone you know who already trusts Jesus. Well, I might go and see if I can lend Scruff and Percival a peaceful hand. We'll see you next time.